For the first time in their history, Crystal Palace greeted as leaders of the first division. And while, of course, it is very early days, there's a developing blend of skill and steel of which all championship sides are made. And what makes the side particularly interesting is the fact that six of that lineup developed from the Youth Cup winning teams. And indeed, only Jerry Francis hasn't played in every game this season. And how ironic that the first test of Palace's new status should be against Terry Venable's old team, Tottenham Hotspur, of whom it might be said they set the standards. Standards which these days Spurs are finding rather difficult to live up to. But they got a good away draw last week at Coventry, according to their management, and they keep an unchanged side with John Pratt brought in a substitute. No question that it's the biggest crowd at Selhurst Park this season. Tottenham in yellow shirts and blue shorts attacking the goal to the left. Palace in their usual strip with a diagonal band. The fifth league meeting here between these two sides and Tottenham's record shows that they've taken eight points out of ten here. The referee this afternoon is Mike Taylor of Deal in Kent. It's Miller, Yorath and Nicholas in very tight, two Welshmen together, one perhaps in the long term the successor to the other. Here's Hilaire and beaten by Chris Hewton. Tense opening moments of a local derby. And although the two teams are opposite ends of the division, local derbies do tend to make a nonsense of current form. Jim Cannon scored a spectacular goal against Ipswich last week. Gilbert. A lot of running for Kenny Sanson. He was a little unlucky. Having got there, he just couldn't quite hold it. It's Valdo Ardides. Both the Argentine players in the Spurs lineup this afternoon. Here's an Irishman, um, Armstrong. Here's Villa. Oh, worth a try! Oh! And how it was worth a try! Really snapshot! from Vicky Villa. And early celebration for Tottenham and their supporters. Burridge and John Burridge, who hadn't actually touched the ball, is beaten on the near post by a real rocket. Spurs lead. There's Vince Hilaire. Perriman who turned it away, but the flag is up on the far side. Beautifully laid for Nicholas. Swindlehurst, Nicholas. Fine attempt. Side foot looking for the corner. But credit to Barry Danes, who was well off his line to collect. Huddle. Just a subtle touch. And the early ball for Armstrong, which is just a bit long, but not by much. Immediately on his game, it would seem, Glenn Hoddle. 
Gonzalez. Huddle, Yarath, Gilbert. Yeah. And here's Armstrong chipping. Oh, and he hit the crossbar with Burridge looking back with a prayer and no more. Really fine piece of play by Armstrong. Saw the goalkeeper had come, it was very deliberate, and Burridge looked back and found that the crossbar had saved him. Ardiles. McAllister. Birkinshaw, the Spurs manager. Yards made a forward run. Nicholas down, Hinchelwood away. Miller. Hewton with Hilaire coming behind him. Oh, that's a fine ball by Hewton. Finds Armstrong. And Farage having a stretch. Really a marvellous pass by Hewton because he turned a defensive clearance into an attacking pass and found Armstrong, who forced Barry to the save. That's for Thanagan. Danes has come. And maybe had a little fortune. But Danes, having decided to come, at least stayed there. If he'd have backpedaled too quickly, he might have left himself in no man's land, but he took the room away from Flanagan, who was trying to chip him. Armstrong, and here is Jones! Didn't get hold of it, but a fine move by Tottenham. Four first-time passes and a scoring opportunity created. Tottenham have had the chances to be 3-0 up in this match. Interesting test this for Terry Venable's young team. Came here riding on the crest of a wave and suddenly finding that they're under the water level. Jones. Nicholas with him. Cannon's head up. Up comes Yorath. Adiles. Via. Sylvia. And now Huddle. Teasing Kenny Sansom making life difficult for himself and losing out as a result and forced by his own petard really Sanson did something rather more simple and on that occasion more effective and here Spurs again as they give the ball away Paris and Aldenez on his knees finds that he's got the free kick the widest of the front players. Up by Jones! Well, Jones got up very well, and Burridge apparently very happy to watch it go up. Another covering player. It's Chris Jones. running out to the left again. Dennis has gone there as well as Armstrong changes and comes the other way. 
Here's Jones. And some good running by Tottenham, both those with the ball and without it. And Jones's cross comes shot, causing Burridge to react with a little surprise. That's the sort of opportunity that Palace are looking for and made nothing of. Armstrong making the early run. It's too long. And the free kick had to be given, really. We're now playing the last seconds of the, the first half, and a very good first half it's been. The odd stoppage for Mr. Taylor to account for. And what a half for Tottenham. Veer putting them in front after three minutes and continuing from there on to be the player of the first half. And the only question mark against the visitors' performance is the fact that they didn't take other chances to have had the match wrapped up already. Palace have got to find a few answers in the second half. Keith Birkinshaw with every reason to be happy. But I suppose one of the questions about the second half is whether Tottenham will be able to maintain the standard they've set, particularly in midfield. Murphy finding Cannon. It's sort of a very warm and pleasant afternoon. It's Cannon again. Sansom. There's no help close at hand. Spurs previously with six points from their eight games, with 19 goals conceded. Hewton. It's a little fortunate that went where it did. Perriman covering. And very well. Huddle. He's got Armstrong out to the right. Move one way, play the ball the other. And they're in trouble! And it's turned away by Gilbert. And John Burridge, who came out late at the start of the match, Never really seems to have settled this afternoon. And they were extremely lucky to escape then. Gilbert to the rescue. Room. Cannon's clearance. Yorath. Finding a little feat of Hilaire getting in his way. Oh, and the free kick given, which is rough on... Uh, John McAllister, because I think he won the ball first and then Hilaire fell over his leg. It's Gilbert. Cannon. Sansom. Chris Hewton. Kind of getting a lot of height. Gilbert, Cannon. Sansom. Swindlehurst. And here's Flanagan! At the post! Oh, the woodwork that time against Paris. Looked as though it was going to drop for Francis. He and Swindlehurst in each other's way came down to Flanagan, who certainly had beaten Danes when the ball smacked off the post. Sansom has lifted the crowd and maybe the home team. 
Murphy. It's a free kick against Villa. Francis. Cannon. to take it now Hilaire he's been pretty quiet this afternoon Hilaire they haven't given him any room at all Francis with the task of trying to create some for somebody finds Murphy and that's Hinshawood up and the back pass from Perriman Armstrong Jones made the forward run Armstrong wouldn't come down for him. Ardiles. I suspect that was swerving a little bit from Ardiles. And it could be that Barrage had begun to set himself to the shot by Armstrong. Goalkeeper puts the, uh, the shade on takes it off slightly miss hit I suspect pretty go but for Palace here placed by Gilbert four Spurs players up here's Ardiles didn't have the time that he wanted casual by Murphy Sanson, placed by Huddle. Stake by Yorath. Well, left by Swindlehurst. Nicholas trying to get through the gap. Hewton covered across well. Now Hilaire, two in the box, just a touch then from Hewton, Hilaire has it once more, and here is Flanagan! <laughs> Not a sort that looks easy, it was Hilaire who crossed it, but from the cross the ball fell in just the sort of position that was too far for Flanagan to dive with his head, and in a way too close to be able to control the shot. And that's why it went up. Armstrong. Here's our dealers. Well saved. Well struck too by Ardiles. Murphy. Swindlehurst. Hilaire wants it right side. Obstruction by Villa. Swindlehurst trying to give himself room to play the pass out to the right. Terry Venables about to use his substitute and he's had quite a discussion with him. Canister across. Played early, here is Swindlehurst. Oh, an awkward one to take again. Hilaire. Hinsherwood. Well found. That was a gift provided Miller didn't get in the way. Newton. Ardiles. Jones. Armstrong in the middle. Hoddle just behind. And here is Hoddle at the back. But the ball was out of play anyway. 
Connell comes back and the kick has to be taken again. Hilaire. Ardil is to him, but not really quite in time. Now he is. But fouled him. And an opportunity for the substitution to be made. It's Swindlehurst who's coming off and to be replaced by the young Welshman, Ian Walsh. And Walsh will have 19 minutes to play. turn defeats into at least a draw. Straight 12 of centre forward for centre forward. And Walsh immediately in the action, but with hands rather than head. And the more telling hands came from uh, Danes. Walsh. Murphy. Flanagan promising. Here's Walsh. Danes to him. And it's in. Well, some substitutions work and some don't. And that's a plus for Terry Venables and Alan Harris. And Danes looking dejected as they celebrate on the bench. Walsh said where he wanted the ball to be returned to. It got a flick off Danes, but it went in to tie it up at one all. And Terry Venables has to sit down, and that might be fairly difficult in the closing stages of this match. Dave Horn, the experienced campaigner on the right. of the orchestra goes on, the time comes out, and what are the odds now on Palace? Look at, listen to the response and look at it from the crowd. And Spurs bringing on John Pratt to stiffen the midfield, to hold the point in place of Asvado Ardiles. So after all the activity, a check on the scoreline with... About 16 minutes left, 1-1 one, one the score. <laughs> and will Tottenham now pay for the indulgences of the first half when they didn't take their chances. Here's Hilaire. Good tackle by Hewton. And by Juan Francis and Hilaire again. And the flag up anyway for offside. on the attack. Oh, he somehow got through that. And McAllister puts it out for the corner. Corner coming in extra time. Injury time. Oh! That's a long goal! It was Perriman who got up to save it as the ball came off McAllister. That would have been very rough on Spurs. And here's Hinchelwood, and a good challenge by Pratt. 
another corner. But Perriman getting a tap then from Barry Danes. Got up to save a certain goal off the head of McAllister. The last cry of Eagles, surely. Oh, what a disappointing corner after all that. Referee with watch in hand, he's looked at it twice already. And Pratt plays Tottenham forward, and Spurs go away with a point which they'd have been happy to settle with at the start. And a really fascinating contest, producing two goals from Villa and the equaliser from Walsh. Radio sound, please.